اهلا وسهلا بكل المشاهدين اللي انضموا الينا هذا الاسبوع بحلقه اليوم من برنامجكم بدازل طبعا المهرجانات والاحتفالات والفنانين اللي هون بيجوا بيزوروا دبي ما فينا نعدهم ولا نحسيهم كرمال هيك عم نحاول قد ما فينا انه نواكب كل هالاحداث اللي عم تصير هون وحكينا بالحلقات الماضيه عن الموسيقي الكبير الرحمن وحفلاته اللي عم تصير هون بدبي وبالاكسبو خلونا هلا نشوف اهم او احسن او افضل المواهب اللي شاركته المسرح الاسبوع الماضي <laughs> yes that too after i think a couple of years okay so you started very young from the you were part of the jackson 5 troop that is true back in the day yes yes so let's start from there let's start early. but when you say it like that it sounds like i was part of the original jackson 5 troop i was no <laughs> <laughs> no but it was a I mean when we were kids we kind of I used to go to piano lessons and then we used to do all these stage shows and uh, it just it was kind of organically evolved into that kind of an experience you know where we grew up on stage <laughs> so that was then the the, the the dance part of uh, you No it was all music it was all music all, all music vocals. And you've starred in at least half a dozen films with Mr. Kamal Hassan. Ah, <laughs> not half a dozen, but <laughs> but yeah, a yeah. decent number of yeah, them. Yeah, he's undoubtedly Asia's finest actors. How how does it feel when you're sharing space with such a legend? It's, Are you even a tad bit intimidated, saying that, "Arya, I have to make sure that I get it right"? Or? See, that's the thing, right? He's such a cool guy that after you work with him for a few like a few weeks or something. It, you don't get intimidated beyond that because he's really cool and really sweet and uh, when he's on set he doesn't behave like a superstar or act like a superstar or anything like that he's just uh, so excited about cinema and that's all he cares about really so it's an amazing uh, i would say learning experience to be around him more than anything else and i'm lucky that i got that very early in my career <laughs> So, which is uh, are you, Andrea, the singer, or Andrea, Andrea, the actress? Which is your first love? I mean, chronologically speaking, <laughs> it would have to be music. But over the years, I really started to enjoy the experience of being an actor, even though I never really wanted to be one. But um, I think both of them help each other. Being a singer helps me be a better actor, and vice versa. Yeah. And of course, I've, I've seen Aval, which is. I was like, wow, scary. Is, I, I love the movie. It's, at least, you know, really break away scary. from the. You know, usual. I couldn't watch it. It was too scary for me. I, I, I spoke to Anisha about a, a year ago. Oh, okay. And uh, I was like, wow, this is one of the you know rare horror films that you see. And said, yeah, this is interesting. It's not the usual spooky haunted house. Yeah. There, there is some meat in it. Yeah. So great. If you had to pick one role or a song, pick any that you wish you had done. Yeah, this is amazing. I should have done it. Gal Gadot and Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, why, not? <laughs> why not? Thanks for talking to us, Anthony. Wish My you all pleasure. The best for thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you very much. Rakshita, welcome to Bedazzled. Thank How you. How are you? Very good. Thanks. Welcome to Dubai. Is this your first trip here? You've been here before? No, no, I've been here before, uh, like pre-corona. After corona, this is my first. Yeah. Okay. So you started singing at the age of four. Mm -hmm. You started with Carnatic music, and you got your first big break with uh, Ilera Jaisal, which is, you know, anybody working in Tamil film industry, any industry, working with Ilera Jaisal, he's a genius. He's a legend. Of course, yeah. And then you're here with uh, Mr. Rama. Yeah. So, I mean, in your previous birth, what did you do to achieve all this? <laughs> Tell us. I, I trust me, I'm still figuring that out because uh, I've always wanted to. Like it's been like the. Topest, like biggest dream of my life to work with Rahman sir, and uh, I've always dreamt of this. But the fact that it's actually happening now is just it just feels surreal. So I'm just yeah, really grateful. <laughs> yeah. You also recently signed for Rahman sir and Mimi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How was that experience? You recorded a song with him. Oh, that so that was my first uh, song in Bollywood also, and my first song for sir. So yeah, it was. Really fun and skillful kind of a song. So to get that as your first debut is really, really something, you know. So yeah. 
So, Rachita, now this is a very personal question. This is, you know, it's very young age to achieve, having achieved so much, and there's yet so much to do over the next decade. Yeah. Is there one particular singer that you look up to, saying that I, this is my goal and this is what I would like to achieve in the next four, five years, ten years, whatever? Oh, uh, there are actually many, many singers and composers and so many artists that I look up to. Um, to name a few, Chitra Amma and uh, of course Shreya, Arijit sir and Rahman sir, even his singing, I mean, so you can't just, you know, no singer would just say one name that they look up to. We look up to a lot of people and so many inspiring artists and work, music out there, so yeah. It's How comfortable are you with different languages that you sing in? I am pretty comfortable because I um, I was born and brought up in Mysore, Karnataka. So yeah, so uh, like we border speak, of everything. Nah, so we speak both Tamil and Kannada at home, and I have a lot of Hindi speaking friends, and so yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. So let's yeah. hear a few lines of your song. Sure. Ek khush khabar hai kano kaan, pehli hai hameri jaan, jiske badalat. Jumutha Hed ka Suna makan Bayani Yani 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 Ane ko hai Ek maman Bayani Yani 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 Jis ki pesh ki hai Ye muskan Outstanding That was so beautiful وهلا بعد ما خلصنا اللقاء الممتع مع السيد بجايشا خلونا نروح لبريك قصير ونرجع نكفي الحلقه سوا كمان حكينا بالحلقات الماضية عن المحظوظين اللي عم بيفوزوا بالسحب اللي عم يصير بالقرية العالمية بدبي الشوبينج فيستيفال أو مهرجان دبي للتسوق وطبعا بما أنه انتهى تقريبا مهرجان دبي للتسوق لازم نتشكر انفينيتي ونيسان لأنه عملوا هذا السحب اللي كان عم بيتم وخلى كتير من العالم أنه تتغير حياتهم بالليلة وضحاها خلونا نشوف لقاء حصرية لقاءات حصرية مع اللي فازوا بهالسحوبات This is my dear first time I won her, like this uh, gift. When I hear this uh, news, I didn't believe if this one uh, correct or not correct. I will happy, sure, I'm all happy. After that, when I confirm this one by website, I will happy. I'm uh, visiting my Ayata. I have two or three tickets. I have a lot of people who are in the park. एक आदमी फोन किया, फोन करके बोला मोहम्मद अरफ तुम्हारा नाम क्या पूछा, मेरा नाम बोला, नेहरा नाम बोल के बोला तुम जीता है सेकंड फ्राइज़ है, दस हज़ार रुपए, मैं बहुत खुशी हो गया। I just got, I was shocked, and you know I was so freezed, I didn't expect this. It's a theatre, you know, sometimes I am blind. I am, the call is coming, just telling you who is Lara Maria. Her name I put it, uh, then after uh, asking Lara Maria, okay, Lara Maria is my daughter, okay, you are the winner of uh, Q80 and uh, 100,000, the DSF is a very best event I saw and uh, I am uh, telling to the people uh, anytime you can get a win because I am not expecting any which time my luck will come, so everybody, they have a time, they have a day, there is a winning day. So keep going on. BNI أو هي Business and Professional Network هي عبارة عن منظمة عالمية موجودة بأكثر من 74 دولة وبتضم تقريبا 300 مهنة والشروط تبع هاي المنظمة إنه بحق لكل بكل بلد مهن من كل مهنة شخص واحد ينضم إلى لهالمنظمة وقدرت تنتشر بشكل واسع بكل أنحاء العالم مثل ما حكينا قدرت توصل لأكثر من 70 دولة خلونا نشوف السيد بيجاي شا هو المسؤول والمترأس هاي المنظمة يحكي لنا أكثر عن فعاليات هاي المنظمة 
Hi Vijay, welcome to Vidazal. Okay, so let me shoot the first question right away. What is BNI all about? BNI stands for Business Network International and um, it's what we call a referral network where members get together. It's a face-to-face -face, uh, network uh, where members refer to each other. They generate referrals based on relationships, based out of uh, trust and credibility. The primary philosophy of BNI is what we call giver's gain. The best way to get something is to help somebody else get what they want. So the law of karma, you know, if you do good unto others, it comes back to you in leaps and bounds. And our members in BNI all over the world practice that. So everybody's there for business, but the way they generate business for themselves is looking out for each other. Uh, you'd have groups, we call them chapters, uh, each chapter typically would have 40, 50, 60 business people. They meet every single week, yes, every week. You probably don't meet your best friend every week. And they are meeting over breakfast, connecting with each other, learning from each other, and most importantly, asking each other for the kind of introductions that they are looking for. And members are helping each other by connecting them. It's like your extended sales force. You know, these are all small businesses, some of them are micro businesses, and they may not necessarily have sales teams working for them. And yet, if they're a member of BNI, they have 40, 50, 60 other business people uh, looking out for them. And as they go about their day-to-day -day, uh, work, they come across other people who may be looking for their products and services, and that's how they refer to each other. The referrals are based purely on the trust, the relationships, and just helping somebody. There is no expectation of any commissions or anything in return, but what does happen is, as more and more people help you, you naturally want to help them back. It's a law of reciprocity, um, or what we call karma, and uh, everybody helps each other, and we track all of this, and we get some astonishing results. Okay, so why is networking so important for professionals in today's world? Networking is a soft skill which is not really taught in schools and colleges and yet it's essential for anybody in business. Not only business but also when it comes to looking for work. You know when somebody leaves college, when they graduate, uh, they need to find employment and uh, you have two types of uh, graduates out there. The graduates who are connected and through that they're able to find the right employment for themselves and others who literally rely on the ads or the recruitment agencies. So if you learn networking from a young age, it can be an essential skill for you. Um, so business, looking for work, uh, just you know, support networks. You have so many different kinds of networks. 15 years ago, our founder and chief visionary officer, Dr. Ivan Meisner, came up with the idea to celebrate networking and the role it plays for people in their lives and we now have something called International Networking Week. It's typically in the first week of February of each year and this year in 2022 we are celebrating our 15th International Networking Week. So how can I join BNI and what will I benefit from this? If you want to connect with other people uh, get more visibility for yourself and really see how others can help you and how you might be able to help others. We are hosting online speed networking events during the International Academic Week, uh, Tuesday 8th February and Thursday 10th February at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We have a 90 minute session on Zoom and we're going to have hundreds of people coming online and we're going to actually conduct uh, speed networking events. So if you want to register for these, uh, it's free, it's open to anybody and everybody. Uh, and look out on our social media channels, on LinkedIn, our page is BNI United Arab Emirates, and on Instagram, it's BNI UAE. Feel free to check us out, register yourself, and we look forward to seeing you at our speed networking. Thank you so much for being with us on Bedazzled Fidget. It was a pleasure talking to you. وهلا خلونا نروح لاستراحة قصيرة ونرجع نكفي الحلقة مع بعض
في مقولة بتقول إنه إذا حبيت توصل لهدفك أو حبيت تحقق طموحك ونجاح معين لازم تعمل هالشي يعني ما تنطر إذن ولا تنطر إشياء معينة تصير لحتى تقدر تحقق هدفك جاز دوت مثل ما بيقولوا خلونا نشوف النصيحة المهنية مع شينوا بيتر It's career tip time. And today we're talking about job interviews and specifically how to structure your answer in a job interview. What you've done in the past is the best predictor of how you'll act in the future. So in a job interview, it's important to break down some specific examples from your previous employment that give the recruiter an understanding of how you would act if you get the job. The best way to do that is what we call the CAR format. CAR stands for circumstance or context, action, result. And when we're dealing with the first part, the C, we wanna make sure that the audience understands how challenging this moment was. And we do that by highlighting what the constraints are that we faced. In business, we have several common constraints, such as time, money, culture, personnel, geography, whatever they are, you want to summarize them in two to three sentences, such as I had to launch a new product and it was the height of the financial crisis and they had cut my budget by 50% and my team by 50%. And then move on to what you did as the action. Yes, the A stands for action. And it's important to be specific about the action that you took. Remember, the company is hiring you not your previous boss, your previous team, or your previous organization. So it's important to be a little bit self-centered here in terms of the specific action that you took that drove the result. And when you talk about your results, make sure that you highlight results in numbers and benchmark your success. Stay away from using generic terms such as we significantly exceeded our budget and get to specific numbers such as we increased revenue by 42%, or we reduce cost by 12% and then benchmark the result, i.e. I was the fourth largest revenue generator in the country. And that's how you highlight your results. So whenever you're going for a job, frankly, any job at any level, using the CAR format is a great way to give the recruiter an understanding of how you would act if you get the job. This has been Pete and Shane. Wishing you all your dreams come true. صناعة الترفيه أو الأفلام والدراما هي منا عبارة عن إشياء منحضرها كرمال نتسلى ونعبي وقتنا أغلبيتها بتناقش قضايا مهمة بمجتمعاتنا طبعا باختلاف المجتمعات وكل مجتمع إلى خصوصيته كرمال هيك لما منحضر هالشغلات لازم ننتبه أكثر على المسج وعلى المحتوى خلونا نشوف هالأسبوع شو آخر الإصدارات مع سانتوش Welcome to Watch Me If You Can This is Santosh Your host for your entertainment weekly today we're going to be talking about human the web series that's out on disney hotstar jab koi nayi dawai market mein aati hai to usse pehle usko logo pe test kiya jata hai ki dawai sahi se kaam kar rahi hai ki nahi kar rahi hai jitne zyada subject utne zyada paise human is about drug trials on humans humans are guinea pigs in this series it's set in bhopal nearly 30 years after the Bhopal gas tragedy, wherein the patients who have suffered the aftermath of the gas tragedy are uh, by default subject to trials, uh, medicinal trials. But there are also the kind of people that get paid to have drug trials performed on them. So phase zero as what it's addressed in the series is performed on lab rats and phase one as they go forward is human trials. S93R, a new drug for heart disease. Human trials कब शुरू कर पाएंगे? Trials already शुरू हो चुके हैं. एक injection के दस हजार बबलू आई है. हम्म. इतना ज़्यादा trial? इतना ज़्यादा तेरा commission? और सुन मा, आधा आधा चल चल फटाफट sign कर दे यहाँ पे. आप बताओ और कितनों का इंतज़ाम करूँ बच्चे? एक miracle drug है. आज से S93R का नाम Savior होगा. The series explores the dark and gritty sides of the pharmas and the hospitals and the nexus between them and what goes on between uh, introducing a drug into the market. Um, sounds familiar? Covid wala scenario? I won't detail detail, but watch the series for spectacular performances starting from Shifali Shah. This is her darkest portrayal ever. Uh, Kirti Kolari, Indranil Sen Gupta, uh, Ram Kapoor, 
just last week we were talking about this boy Vishal Jetwa who was the antagonist in Mardani 2 uh, alongside Rani Mukherjee where Rani gave him a you know upper hand to you know be the forerunner of the film uh, here Vishal is quite the opposite where he is vulnerable he is um, helpless he doesn't know what to do a contrast of the character from what he played earlier just one film and one web series old but he's in a spectacular job uh, another special mention about this actress riddhi kumar she has a very difficult uh, role to portray uh, she has a, a vagaries of emotions uh, uh, to play uh, not just uh, physically but even her facial expressions because she's also subject to one of the drugs uski uh, after effects uske upar kya natija leke aate hain that's what the series is about ek band drug ka trial ह्यूमंस पे कर रहे हैं जिसकी वजह से लोगों की जाने भी जा रही है स्टाइल के चलते रहने से काफी सारे लोगों को काफी सारा फायदा हुआ डॉक्टर नाथ एस 93 आर ड्रग नहीं है पॉइजन है द सीरीज आल्सो हैज आदित्य श्रीवास्तव ऑफ सीआईडी फेम एंड ऑफ कोर्स अ कॉप एंड सत्य एवरी कैरेक्टर इन द सीरीज इज डार्क यू डोंट नो हु इज राइट एंड हु इज रॉन्ग इट आल्सो फीचर्स द वेटरन मोहन आकाशे आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम इन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रोल इट्स वेरी डार्क बट इट्स स्पेक्टेकुलर Pippal Amrit Lal Shah Shifali's husband uh, has directed uh, most of the series uh, closely together with uh, Moses Singh but it's a wonderful series it's dark so not for the faint hearted but do give it a watch Manthan meri legacy hai aur main piche nahi hatne wali As a doctor sach ko bahar lana hi mera tha Special presents Human. I'm not done yet. 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 uh his uh his battle with depression and alcoholism uh it's funny in parts but it has all his uh, favorite people in the audience uh kapil sharma talking to people it's more like a confession uh kapil reaching out to the audience saying that maine ye sab galtiyan ki ye mujhe nahi karna chahiye tha main aisa hu and i'm not done yet it's out on netflix do give it a watch because uh, he's your favorite host I am not done yet, Kapil Sharma. मैं जब Netflix पे आने वाला था मेरे दोस्तों को पता चला तो वो लोग मुझे पूछते कहते तू क्यों जा रहा है नेटफ्लिक्स पे मैं जा रहा हूँ बिकॉज आई फील आई एम नॉट डन येट ये जो लाइन है ये मेरी लाइफ के साथ बढ़ा जाती है पीछे के सामने खड़ा होकर बार बार दोहरा रहा था आई एम नॉट डन येट आई एम नॉट डन येट पीछे से मेरी वाइफ ने तकिया मारा मुझे फेंक के बोलती डेढ़ साल में दो बच्चे हो गए वट्स योर प्लान विद दैट इज संतोष टाइनिंग ऑफ अंटिल आई सी ऑल नेक्स्ट वीक वॉच मी इफ यू कैन اولا هون بتكون خلصت حلقتنا لهالاسبوع بس موعدنا بيتجدد الاسبوع الجاي بنفس الوقت بتمنى تكونوا كتير